Alrighty. Yo, yo, what's good? It's Fatan Bond, and welcome to another episode of Say That with Fatan Bond. This is Real Talk No Cap. We're live today from Raleigh in the Red Room. It's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. When I say beautiful, I mean it's just a good day to be alive. It's not necessarily nice outside. It's kind of like overcast. We've had some weird weather here in Raleigh. It's like it's literally been hot, then cold, then warm, then hot, then cold. We've had rain, torrential rain, thunderstorms. It's been sunny. The only thing we've not gotten is snow, which is fucking crazy. But it is a beautiful Sunday. This is episode 10. But before we get into the talk, this show is brought to you by www.vatanbondmusic.com. You guys go ahead and go to my site and you can get my latest mixtape entitled Gold Bars for free. And also, this talk is brought to you by the listeners of Vatan Bond, as always, my favorite people in the world. Shout out to y'all. So I'm going to call this episode Conversation Hearts. Like the candy. You, you, you ever seen the candy? The Conversation Hearts? A little, I think they're made by Neko or Brox or something like that. And little pastel colored hearts. And they got like a little message up there like, love you or be mine or some shit. You know, Valentine's Day was two days ago, three days ago. It's coming out on Monday, February 17, 2020. So three days ago was Valentine's Day. Not my favorite holiday. Not a holiday that I celebrate. It's not something that I give two shits about, <laughs> truth be told. Um, but I still want to want to kind of have a conversation about that holiday, um, how it fits in society and, and truth be told what we need to do going forward especially as men especially as masters of the universe this is more for my male fans my male listeners of course if you're female listening thank you thank you for listening i love you beautiful sweetheart but at the same time i speak to a lot of men because i look at my analytics i look at my insights and hey my fan base is mostly male it is what it is so conversation hearts or conversations from the heart Let's talk, man. So I was at the movies the other day. First, I had a busy week. All right, I've been doing a lot of production. I want to give a shout out to my man, Privy Peso. That's my best friend. Known him since sophomore year in high school. We've been working together ever since. He reached out to me. He said, yo, I got a studio session booked up. Can I get some beats? That made me go into my stash, into my files, start looking for some beats you know and just going through all that stuff i got re-inspired as a producer i've been listening to so much crazy shit man so many uh new songs new albums and i have a a fresh set of ears in the game now and i'm excited to kind of work on some stuff and put it out there because i'm working on a new project working on a couple new projects right now and i'm just i'm really trying to Make some dope shit for you guys and, and let's keep the culture pushing forward and, and whatnot. But send my dog a beat. So I've been doing that. I've been doing a lot of production this week. Of course, the end of the week was Valentine's Day. I went to the movies on Valentine's Day. And I went to go see Sonic the Hedgehog, which was fucking lit. Way better than it should have been. Okay. You know, I, I'm at the theater, I see a line. Theater's busier than usual. I, I went at like 2.10. That's when my movie started. 2.10 in the afternoon. It's already couples and shit in the theater. Like holding hands, canoodling. I'm looking at these poor guys. I'm like, yo. I know y'all pockets about to get beat the fuck up today, man. Dollar store was crazy. The Dollar Tree. People with buying the candy and the balloons and the the balloons and the candy and the cards and the balloons did i mention balloons i mean yo it's crazy it's to the point where i should consider a side hustle writing cards i'm already a rapper i can rhyme like nobody else why not start writing poetry on cards and selling them shits i might as well I might as fucking well 
because these holidays are getting out of hand, man. Valentine's Day is definitely a hallmark holiday, meaning that these companies, they created this shit. This shit is, it's not about love, it's about profit, right? For me, I just think it's insane that so many guys are just, it's social programming. So, so many guys are like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. Let me go ahead and buy my girl all this stuff to prove that I love her. I don't think that proves anything. I don't think, uh, excuse me. Let me backtrack. Let me rewind. It does prove something. It proves that you're a simp. It proves that you're a simp. Because if you were not a simp, you wouldn't need to do all that stuff. You wouldn't need to go all out. Your girl already knows. She's like, oh, yeah, this guy's solid. He's, he's, he's here for me, you know. Hey, there's nothing wrong with treating your girl, but you shouldn't feel like you have to do anything. And that's what these holidays make a lot of men feel like. Oh, and don't forget the entitlement that it may create in a woman. She's like, oh, it's Valentine's Day. This is like a second Christmas for me. It's heavily in favor of the woman, just like divorce is, right? It's heavily in favor of the woman, just like child support and and family court, all this other stuff. That stuff is highly, highly weighed in the direction of the woman. As a man, you know... Hey, you might have a down chick who's going to give you something on Valentine's Day. If she's giving up ass, that's not a Valentine's Day gift. That's something I should be getting on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. And we, that's something that we should be doing because we're both attracted to each other. And, and a lot of these you know, these relationships are based on sex, or at least they should be. Sexual attraction. That's very, 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 very important. It's the first thing I think. Because guess what? We're human beings. We're animals. So we got to go ahead and propagate the species. Got to keep it going forward, man. We got to spread our genes. So obviously the sexual attraction bit is probably top one or two things. So that's not really a gift. There's some women who will give like a card or maybe she'll come to 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 her her man's job and and bring him a gift now that's that's cool that's cool there's nothing wrong with exchanging gifts I'm, i'm just for me it's the expectation and the entitlement that's the thing that i'm like eh, that's not cool that's not cool and don't make me go see a movie like the photograph Instead of seeing a movie like Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, if we going out to the movies and we going to see something fun, great. But if if you're going to drag me to go see a rom-com or a romantic drama, no. That's not happening. See, you know, guys, my music is about power. It's about self-actualization. It's a lot about prosperity and success and being on your purpose as well. But power is the number one thing. That means that you got to think for yourself. You got to do what you want to do. You got to be mission focused. You have to be self-validating because it's a hard, harsh world out here and people are going to criticize you. So what do you do? You shrug it off. You self-validate. This is important. So you got to be aware of, wait a minute, am I being programmed here by a Jared commercial? Spoiler alert. Yes, you're being pushed, persuaded, programmed, prodded, all that shit, right? And that's the conversation from the heart. Like, this doesn't feel right. This 
isn't something that I'm interested in. I don't feel like uh, exchanging teddy bears and shit, you know? Now for me, you know, I'm a single man. You know, it's funny, at work the other day, um, you know, me and my supervisor were working together. You know, we're doing our thing. Old lady comes up. Now my supervisor is a great guy. He asked the lady, oh, how was your Valentine's Day? She was like, oh, I, I didn't get any candy. So that's why I got some right now. And she uh, she said to him, hey, um, did you do anything for your wife? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I did. And she was like, oh, yeah, smart man, smart man. And, you know, she looked at me and I was like, hey, you know, he's the smart man. I, I don't have a wife. And she was like, ah, you are smart. That's how you do it. You play the field, et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. And I'm like, yo, if this hundred year old white lady is telling me that I'm smart for playing the field and chilling, this chick has got some red pill awareness. She's got some red pill game. This is my favorite customer now. Love this lady. So. I just, I feel like I'm doing the right thing for me, bro. Like, I'm, I'm focused on my purpose. I'm focused on trying to make these songs, trying to be a great artist, trying to be the biggest artist I can be. You know, I got a YouTube channel to grow. I got a podcast to grow. I, I'm, you know, I'm going to start working on this uh, Spotify thing and really trying to get the songs out consistently. Focusing on different platforms and things like that. I got my marketing bringing in new fans every day man life is good i'm happy i'm prospering right but i'm making stuff to prosper other people see my music isn't about me it's about y'all so my creation and i always say like oh, i'm not really interested in having children but my creations are my children and my children are for y'all I want them to shine so y'all can shine. You know, I want y'all to listen to my shit. And I want y'all to feel a certain way when you listen. I want to entertain you guys with everything that I do. So, that's where I am. That's the conversation from the heart for me. So, what's next? Well, I'm going to do some more podcast episodes because low key I'm kind of running out of ideas but all I got to do is open my fucking eyes and look at the door look outside there's ideas all over the place man so working on some new music I think you guys are really gonna dig it man got some heat coming some heat rocks some asteroids comets meteorites all that stuff. Wasn't there a meteorite or an asteroid that was like dangerously close to Earth? Is the coronavirus still a thing? The coronavirus is still a thing, too. Man, y- y'all be safe out here. Make sure you wear your surgical mask. Because, you know, people, they started eating bat soup. Eating bats and shit, man. People, people are crazy. What is appetizing about a bat? And see, and now I'm about to go into a different tangent. So let me cut this shit off right now. And I'll see you guys next week, man. Much love. One love. Say that.